Today we're working on a 3.6 liter Pentastar engine in a Dodge Grand Caravan. And I wanted to do a quick video on repair that I see pretty often. And it is the plenum bolts stripping out the lower intake manifold. So here you can see the lower intake. And these are the bolt holes I'm talking about right here. And this is the fastener. So what will happen is people will go to change their spark plugs or quill packs or whatever. And then when you reinstall this, um, they just get stripped out. So it's a really common thing that I've seen. Um, there's not a lot of meat to these threads here. So I found a fix for it that works perfectly. I've done it a few times now. What we're gonna go back with is a quarter inch lag bolt and uh, 7 30 seconds washer. So what we've got to do, um, I'll put a picture in the description of the hardware that you're going to need. You're going to need three of these washers. Um, the washers are not only going to space this bolt to make it the perfect size, but also give you a proper torque value. Um, and but what you've got to do here is drill out these holes uh, with a 7 30 seconds drill bit. So just find the ones, there's multiple sets, just find the ones that your vehicle is using. Uh, so just drill them out, maybe an eighth of an inch deeper than they are now, but really what you want to do is just get out the old threads and the old gunk. Make sure you plug all these ports when you're doing that. And then you're going to take a quarter inch drill bit and uh, drill out these holes in the plenum. The quarter inch drill bit, um, just kind of wiggle it around just a hair. It's going to let these bolts um, go in and out a whole lot easier instead of having to push them through. You don't want this to be threaded in any way. Um, so yeah, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up so you can see me put this thing back together. Um, you're going to want to torque this down to uh, but 7 to 9 newton meters. Alright, there's going to be some wind noise. But I wanted to at least show in, installing this thing again. Um, so yeah, there you can see 7 to 9 newton meters for those fasteners. Depending on if you remove the support brackets, you want to put the intake manifold in like this. So you can get it back into the support bracket holes. All right, there we go. And then I like to take a flashlight and go ahead and look down in these plenum holes just to make sure you're properly lined up since there are multiple holes in the lower manifold. Okay, so all these look good. Um, I mentioned that because I did a manifold job on one of these once and um, somebody had just really done a terrible repair and they actually crossed the bolts into the to the wrong hole so these things are going to be pretty snug uh, when you're pushing them down in there we're going to be making the new threads this is one thing that you're just going to have to kind of get a feel for um, if you're a seasoned mechanic then you know you should have a pretty good uh, wrist torque value it's going to be different on uh, every vehicle. Depending on how much you drilled out of the lower manifold. Okay. For the center two holes here, um, if you're using these quarter inch lag bolts, you're gonna need to step down to a quarter inch socket because the side wall is a little bit thinner and there's uh, a lot of plastic in the way. So we'll go ahead and just uh, start all these by hand, make sure they're going in. Since these are individual O-ring gaskets, um, the torque sequence really isn't too important. But we'll still start from the center, kind of like with most vehicles, and work our way out.
that is it. This thing is torqued down. Um, the next really important thing that you have to remember is you have to remember to put the support brackets back on. Let me go ahead and move the camera. Um, these things were maybe a pain for you. We have one there on the left and one on the right. People forget them because the radiator hose is in the way. Um, and then we've got this support bracket back here. So if you don't put those back on, um, there's a good chance that you're gonna have problems again, especially if you're using this bolts. The new quarter inch lag bolts should make this thing last pretty much forever. But um, yeah, go ahead and put those support brackets back on for sure. So I hope this video helps you out. Um, maybe saves you from some headache. Thanks for watching.